Cruising is expected to resume in Florida this month, but when the ships will pull into Jacksonville? News for Jackson reporter Zach Lashway spoke with the cruise genius to find out the latest within the cruising industry. It's been more than a year since people have boarded cruise ships, but as of this month, cruising is back in Florida. Test cruises are going to last a week or two for the next few weeks, and then once these test cruises are over and all the protocols are met, then it looks like we're moving to revenue cruises where it's going to be great. Scott Lara, the cruise genius, is optimistic with cruises resuming. I believe cruising is going to be very, very safe. It's going to be safer than before because of everything that's going on. The enhanced ventilation on board, the sanitation, and everything's going to be great. Lara says there will be some changes to cruising as we know it. We're going to be able to do the same fun things, be on the Lido deck, go to shows and stuff like that. However, you know, it's going to be staggered boarding. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different because uh, of COVID and we have to all be safe on the cruises. When can we expect cruises to return to Jacksonville? I expect cruises to return to Jacksonville the end of July, which is going to be great. Unfortunately, the last, the next 10 cruises are already sold out. So if you want to cruise from Jacksonville, Port Canaveral, Miami, you got to book now. The one thing that the CDC and actually the government doesn't want is a repeat of Diamond Princess. Diamond Princess with all those people getting sick on board you know, and there, there were deaths on board. The government doesn't want to have that happen again and I understand that as a travel agent and as a travel media, I don't want to have that kind of headline again either. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station. The first cruise out of Jacksonville is scheduled for July 31st. The Celebrity Edge, which will become the first major cruise ship to sail from the U.S. in more than a year, will do so from Fort Lauderdale later this month. This comes at a time when Royal Caribbean is changing course for cruises out of Florida and Texas. Friday, the cruise line changing requirements for passengers to be vaccinated for COVID-19. Now only at ships departing from Seattle and the Bahamas on or before August 1st will require passengers 16 and older to be vaccinated.